Eric from Megatech PC here with another computer building video and today we're going to be doing an unboxing or actually a couple of unboxings of the EVGA GTX Titan. Now unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of months you've uh, probably heard of NVIDIA's uh, GK110 uh, masterpiece uh, known as the GTX Titan. This is their new uh, large die GPU uh, video card that they have just recently released and these are actually um, uh, EVGA's uh, different SKUs of their super clocked versions. We have the signature which is right here which comes in the big fancy box and then we've got the regular super clocked version which is right here and we're going to be taking a look at both of those video cards to see what the differences really are between the two. Um, I suspect it's mostly going to be a t-shirt and a mouse pad but uh, hey, you never know. We're going to have to open the box to find out. So stick around and uh, let's get to it. Alright guys, as you can see here, this is the EVGA Superclock GeForce GTX Titan from NVIDIA. It comes in rather uh, standard EVGA packaging. Um, there's the thin uh, cardboard box that I've seen most uh, EVGA cards ship with and uh, not too much uh, to say about the front of the box. On the side I suspect we're going to see some bragging and that's uh, that's probably what we're going to see here. Uh, actually it's telling us what uh, what you need for the card. So you need a 600 watt or greater power supply. You need a PCIe 2.0 or 3.0 slots in your on your motherboard. You also need a uh, an 8-pin and a 6-pin uh, PCIe power from your power supply and uh, works with Windows 8.7, Vista, and XP. On the back of the box you can see uh, there's all kinds of stuff listed here on uh, what the particular uh, specs of this video card are and I'm not going to go over all of this because that's just quite simply a whole lot of uh, stuff to go over. But it does tell you what uh, ports are on the back of the card, which has a display port, an HDMI, and two dual link DVI uh, ports, which is important because you want to be running uh, a video card like this uh, multi monitor because it's got six gigabytes of VRAM. And if you're just running this on a single 1080p screen, you are doing it wrong. At the bottom here, we can see it's got Precision X, uh, it's got EVGAs. Um, legendary warranty and customer uh, service uh, and uh, and yeah there's a whole lot of other stuff on the other side here we're gonna see that uh, I believe yep, EVGA is the best at everything uh, they are apparently number one seller in the US they're the number one uh, excellence awards winner for 2012 for graphics cards and they uh, they're also number one for uh, Excellence Awards 2012 for motherboards, so, you know, EVGA's got to toot their own horn, I suppose. So anyway, uh, let's get into this video card and take a look what's inside the box. Bring out my trusty unboxing knife here. I don't want to damage the packaging here. I'm not, a, I'm not exactly a, an expert unboxer, but I will give it a shot. i get through this saran wrap here. And there's the, there's the box there. And there's a seal on the side, of course. We will undo the seal and pull out the card. And it does have a nice, even though the, the box is this thin, uh, flimsy cardboard, it does come with a very nice, um, foam, dense foam, that is going to protect the video card and that's the most important thing. So looking through here we've got uh, an EVGA uh, pamphlet here, this is probably warranty information and uh, other stuff that you should probably look at. Um, we've got an enthusiast built sticker, uh, two stickers actually, uh, in case you want to use uh, the different look on your case or your desk or your car or whatever else you want to tell people you're using EVGA products. 
Uh, we've got, this is the warranty information. Oh, this is a quick start guide, actually. So we've got a quick start guide. That's probably going to be helpful if you want to start quickly. You've got an intention uh, warning here to tell you what power connectors to hook up for your brand new Titan and a driver disc with a sweet sticker uh, powered by EVGA um, that you'll definitely want to put on your case to let everybody know that you are better than them. Okay, inside we find the usual connectors, I bet. We've got, uh, we got, what is that, dual six pin PCIe. We've got Molex to six pin. And if you're using that, your power supply is probably not good enough. And it's got a VGA dongle there. You don't want to use that either. And let's take a look at the video card. So there it is in a nice uh, little micro or static proof bag. I'll just pull it out. Gosh, this is a heavy card. I'll tell you what. It's all metal, this card, or the case is all metal. So we'll just set that down, move all this aside, and get a look at the good stuff. This is the EVGA Super Clocked GeForce GTX Titan. And we're going to pull it out here and see what it looks like. And there she is. That is an EVGA Super Clock Titan. And as you probably know, uh, this card is fully reference. Um, as far as I understand it, the uh, NVIDIA is not allowing any of the AIBs to modify the PCB in any way uh, if they want to sell Titans. Um, I have heard that there can be custom cooling uh, down the line, but that, you know, I don't know. It's all just rumors at this point. But uh, it is just a gorgeous video card. It really is. Um, it's, you know, full aluminum, I believe. Um, there's a uh, Titan etched right there on the side. I don't know if you can see that in the light. But it's actually stamped into the aluminum. And there's your window that you can see the, uh, the heat sink underneath. It is a slot style uh, fan cooler. So it's not going to dump air into your case, which is good for uh, you air coolers out there. I, of course, am going to be putting these both under water, but uh, I'm going to be doing some air testing first. And you can take a look at the PCB there. Uh, it's got VRAM chips on the front and the back of the PCB. It's got six gigabytes, so they had to put them somewhere. And as you can see, this is the true successor to the GTX 580 would utilize GF110. This uh, card, of course, utilizes GK110, which is the large Kepler die used in the Tesla uh, video cards that power the Titan supercomputer, which is uh, no doubt the reason why they've named this video card the GeForce uh, GTX Titan. There you can see on the end there, it's got the 8-pin and the 6-pin PCIe. On the back, there's some more uh, fins for the heat sink that will uh, add extra cooling, I presume, to the end of the PCB. Um, the GeForce GTX logo right there will light up in your case. And on the back we see the, the connectors that come with the uh, All Titans. It's got the dual link DVIs, the HDMI, and the display port. Uh, it's also got this the uh, cooling slots. Those are where the uh, expelled exhaust gases are going to be coming from. Uh, as mentioned on the box, it is PCIe 3.0 uh, or 2.0, but you, you, you probably want to be running this uh, on 3.0 if you can. And that pretty much covers the superclocked version of the EVGA GeForce GTX Titan. So yeah, it's a beautiful card and we got to get to the other uh, card that I'm going to be unboxing today, the EVGA Signature GeForce GTX Titan. So let me get that out and I will be right back. 
Alright guys, just wanted to uh, show you the uh, last piece of the EVGA Super Clock GTX Titan that you get with the packaging and it is this super cool EVGA poster. Uh, don't want to miss out on that bad boy right there. I don't know if you can see all that. Zoom it out here a little bit. And yeah, that's... Uh, that's the poster you get with your super clocked EVGA GTX Titan. Alright guys, so we've opened the super clocked version of the GTX Titan and now we're going to be opening up the signature GeForce GTX Titan from EVGA. Now this uh, already looks very different from the super clocked version just from the packaging. It comes in a much larger box which is not the flimsy uh, cardboard that you saw on the regular super clocked version of the Titan. It is actually a very thick cardboard here and it's sort of a matte finish and it's also got four seals on the back to break although one of them appears to be a little loose. So anyway instead of breaking them I might just see if I can peel them because it looks like they all want to just peel off anyway. But they do tell you on the seals that this card has been inspected by the EVGA for quality assurance. So that is extremely uh, reassuring, uh, to say the least. So anyway, we've got uh, all the seals undone there. Now we're just going to take the cover off of this Signature Edition GeForce GTX Titan. I'm going to be really quiet now because I don't... I don't know quite what's going to happen once I remove the box on the signature Titan. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't believe it. Look what you get with the signature version. You get an EVGA t-shirt. Oh wow. I mean this is, this is cool stuff here. Uh, it says EVGA on the front and on the back. I expect it says EVGA again, and it does. It says GeForce GTX Titan with a picture of uh, you know, the moon or something. Really, it is actually a pretty cool looking t-shirt. Um, I'm not even joking. Uh, but alas, it is just an extra large. So if you are a fat guy like me, it's not going to do you much good except to let your wife use it as a sleeping shirt. Moving on, we get the same basic uh, stuff that we got with the super clocked version. We get uh, the user guide. We get another graphics driver uh, CD as well as a sticker. Remember, you want to go to the NVIDIA website and get more current drivers, although I think there's only one driver for Titan at, the, at this particular moment. Again, you need an 8-pin and a 6-pin from your power supply for this video card. That's another quick start guide telling you all about your Titan, how to hook it up. There's the stickers again that we saw in the S uh, super clocked version. Um, and I'm telling you, this is actually looking very similar <laughs> to the uh, super clocked version so far. Here's that poster that uh, I forgot to open up in the first unboxing. And, yep, it's exactly the same poster. So, there you go. And on the inside here, you can see this is some very thick foam here. So both cards are, are going to be safe in transit to your particular homes. Uh, they're well protected by this foam. And I don't know, what, what is this? This is, this is nice here. Wow, what is that? That looks to be a mouse pad. Wow, that is a pretty spiffy, non-slip, rubber-based mouse pad. It's 100% engineered for gamers. 100%. Not 90% or 80, but 100%. It's designed for laser and optical mice, and it's specially designed, uh, has a specially designed surface that delivers minimal friction. So, you know, hey... I, a lot of this unboxing is kind of tongue-in-cheek, you know, you're paying 70, 80 bucks more for the signature for just a little bit of swag, but I'll tell you, 
this is a really nice mouse pad and if you don't have a good mouse pad and you're looking at buying a Titan you know you might want to look at the signature I know it's a little bit pricey but you get a pretty cool t-shirt and you get this nice mouse pad um, that comes in this little envelope here uh, so you know all jokes aside yeah you know I, this is basically the same video card as the super clock version we just un, uh, unboxed but you do get the nice mouse pad and the t-shirt so, you know, it's kind of up to you guys what you think is important uh, to you. Now, down to the brass tacks here, and we have pretty much the same stuff that came with the Super Clocked card. We have the dual uh, PCIe 6-pin adapter. We've got Molex to 6-pin. Uh, again, you need a power supply that has native adapters for a video card that requires as much power as this. This is a 265 or 250 watt TDP video card, um, and you're gonna need you're gonna need some at least a 600 watt power supply, and I'd say probably at least an 850 watt if you're going to be running two of them. I'm going to be using a 1200 watt, so I should be okay. Again, another useless VGA adapter, and again the EVGA super clocked GeForce GTX Titan in all of its glory inside of the EVGA anti-static bag. I'm going to pull it out. I'm not going to spend too much time on it though because it is ta-da! The exact same card that we just unboxed. Yes, um, that is correct. You heard it here first guys. There is absolutely zero difference between the super-clocked EVGA GTX Titan and the EVGA GTX Titan Signature Edition. They are both the exact same video card, clocked exactly the same, and uh, the only difference that you, you get with the Signature is the nicer packaging and the mouse pad and the t-shirt. But that's still, you still get a freaking fantastic video card. You got the matte black PCB on the back. Um, you got the six gigabytes of VRAM, which is really not going to be that useful unless you're running multi-monitor, say like uh, NVIDIA Surround. Uh, hopefully, most of you guys that are buying Titan are going to be running at least two monitors, and hopefully three, although it will support up to four monitors, three in Surround, and then one as a, as a sort of a, a monitor uh, for like websites or... Uh, videos or anything like that while you're playing games. Again, it's got the GeForce GTX logo on the side that lights up in green. You've got the 6 and 8 pin power. You've got the same ports on the back and the same cooling. And I'm just going to bring you in a little bit closer so you can see up close the Titan PCB. You can look down and you can see all the memory modules there on the back which I've personally never seen on a video card before because all of my video cards have only been either one two or three gigabytes of VRAM you can also see the GeForce GTX logo that lights up and just look at the finish on this card it is it really is a gorgeous premium product you can tell that Nvidia wanted to charge a lot of money for this card there's, these are Tesla Core uh, GPUs, the GK110, and so they wanted to give their premium card, or their premium GPU, a premium card to house it in. And this is premium. You can see the Titan uh, in the side there. So, like I said, guys, thank you very much for watching my unboxing of the GeForce GTX Titan Super Clock and Signature versions uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and please subscribe to my channel if you want to see what hap what I plan to do with these two GTX Titans in the very near future and as I said or hinted at earlier before this gorgeous air cooler is uh, not going to be very useful for me I will be doing full water cooling of these two video cards in the very near future so please stick around and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos just like this.